Mickey Hawkins outside the London Stadium, West Ham fan TV. Dave, I, I don't think I've seen much worse than that this season, and that's saying something. No, he, he, well, I mean, the, the away game at Craven Cottage was... I don't know, it's 50-50 for me. It, it was, yeah, I mean, that was that was just as bad. Well, I, mean, I just want to start... I mean, this, uh, just, obviously, I watched a lot of the under-21s. Um, you know, I've seen George Irby come through. You know, when he came on a day, I thought, like, he, he uh, you know, he looked lively. Yeah, I saw a little bit of what I've seen in the under-21s. So I just want to say, get all soon, George, um, yeah. because that looks pretty sickening injury. Uh, I ain't seen it back. I ain't seen what happened yet. I think Alvarez went for it and took him out, and he just, I, I'm not sure quite how he caught him, but he seemed to go straight for his head. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was, it looked nasty, so fingers crossed, George, it was all right. Um, to go back to the football, oh, where did, like, just if, if one team this season was going to put a ball gag in our mouth and make them call them daddy, Fulham, to, to be dominated the way we have twice, you know, like, I've got to say, I've got to say this, mate. I've got to say this. It's a team that's made up of ageing players that know exactly what they can do. They know their limitations, and, they, and their manager tells them oh, what they need to do. He's, he's getting the best. Though. He's they're better than the sum of their parts, aren't they? I'll give them. I'll give them that credit. You know, like they're a, they're a good side that the manager's getting the best out of. Um, they know what they want to do. The one thing I did think with them is I thought they lacked a bit of confidence, which sounds like a weird thing to say, but the amount of times they got the ball around their area and they always just wanted to take that extra pass. Yeah, yeah. And on, on the flip side of that, Kudus was fantastic a day with the ball at his feet, but how many times did he want to take an extra touch or beat an extra man? Yeah, yeah. And it's just, you know, like, maybe he's lacking a little bit of that confidence. Maybe he just needs, you know, just get your head up sometimes. When you when you see that little corner, shoot, put your foot for it because we, we didn't get anything from him you know, constantly going across and trying to... But, I mean, Antonio missed a, a sitter. Um, the first goal looked like a... Well, panel first sitter. ten minutes, we looked lively, funny yeah, enough. Yeah, well, I mean, to me, we, we had the chances. I mean, like, I looked at it at half-time, it was 1-0, and I just thought, though, like, when you find our shooting boots, you get a bit of confidence, we can we can go and win this 3-4-1. Mm. You know, there was nothing to stop us with the chances we were creating in the first half from from taking, taking control. We just didn't do it. You know, we let Fulham have far too much of the ball. We gave them far too much time in, in and around our area. You know, we they they haven't got any world class players, but but they looked, you know, they, they were getting far more out of these. Sharper, mate. Yeah. Sharper, fresher. I mean, Pakatar was was poor. Alvarez was poor. Ings was poor. Antonio was poor. You know, it was Mavropanos was. I mean, if if Mavropanos he went down on and came off on on Thursday night, I was surprised to see him start. I'm surprised. He played. Yeah, he went down. In, he went down three times before he got subbed off. Like, I know, I know. I criticise Moyes Thursday night for being reactionary, but you, you took him off injured on Thursday. You've watched him go down three times. He's at fault for the goal. He, he looked so off the pace, and he persevered with him for like mm. far too long. Yeah. You know, this is like, you know, at this point, let's look. The season's gone, right? At this point, I mean, I said you on the way back from, from Leverkusen. We got six games this season. Forget Thursday you know, night; it's not happening. Yeah, if we score first on the on that performance, on the way we played, it's not. It's not coming. You know, we, we're out of Europe now. This was the most winnable game we had. I thought, looking ahead to the rest of the season, because I think I mean, Luton and I are going to come and fight. I'm going to go something to play for. You know, Fulham at mid table. They're not pushing Europe. They're not going to get get relegated. You know, if you look at look at where the league is now, Newcastle and. Man United are probably on course for 60 odd points. It's a race for eight, and we're dependent on Man City winning the FA Cup. I can't, I can't see us getting it. You know, I wouldn't rule out the upset next week if Chelsea go and win there, and then yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, it can get grim, can it? You know, yeah. there's a lot of teams with lots. Of I mean, but, but I can't, I can't find another positive this season because I, I said we're out of Europe. I don't mean we're gonna get. A, a, a European finish again. It's between now and the end of the season. It's going to be essentially five dead rubbers, six dead rubbers. You know, our, our Palace have obviously got a good one at Anfield. They're coming into next week on a higher, and, and they've got a week off. Yeah. You know, and then you, you, you're, you're like, yeah, you're running. You still got Stamford Bridge. We still got to go to the Etihad. You know, Liverpool still got to come here. It's it's going to be a tough end. It is. Do you know what? I, I quite like to see between now and in the season, if Pakistan don't want to be here, you know, 
let's let's start getting let's start gearing for next season. Let's start giving minutes to players that let's see what some of the well, young I mean, manager might do. not be here. That's the problem. He shouldn't be here. I mean, he, you can't make a case. Nobody can make a case for David Moyes still being in this football club next season, other than he won a, a third-rate European competition last season, and it was a great competition win. I'm not, but let's be fair. We beat a lot of teams we should have beat, and we finished fourth in the league. And this year, we've had a couple of good wins away at Arsenal and Spurs. But apart from that, you know, Fulham have come here and beat us. Everton come here and beat us. Burnley come here and got a draw. Palace come here and got a draw. You know, Forest beat us at their place. Sheffield United took a draw at their place. Like, there's so many games we've not performed in this season. So many games we've dropped points. The only reason we are where we are is because like everyone else is shite. Yeah, like yeah, you know, we we. We stood still at a time when everyone else found reverse, and now we're finding reverse when everyone else is standing still. That's yeah. how it, that's how it feels. Yeah, I've, I agree, mate, but thank you very much. Cheers.